Hey, John and Lucy. How are you both? We have a lot of things to go through here. Well, I sent you guys our quarter sales, and as you know, we're not reaching our goals and our numbers are not where they need to be. We need to come up with ways to reduce costs and increase profits for the company. Anything you have in mind to help increase our sales? Hey, Julie. Like I mentioned to John a couple days ago, I went to the conference last week and I was thinking it would be good for our company if we can produce a liquid form of our settlements. I mean, the increase in revenue would outweigh the costs. I just wish John were, on, were open to these ideas because he doesn't like the change and thinks we would only lose more money if we tried to produce new supplements. So John, what is it that you don't like about Lucy's idea? Well, I don't like seeing our numbers drop, but I'm not really feeling this idea. It's very risky, and it could cost us a lot of money. And besides, I think our chewable supplements are doing just fine. I don't think it's necessary to add a new product to our line. But John, this is what business is all about. We need to take the risk, and the higher the risk, the greater the benefits. I see where you both are coming from, but to be honest, here I think Julie might be right, John. We need to take the risks because it seems like what we're doing right now is not really making good profits for the company. This new line of business will help the company in the long run. We can test the new product with consumers and see their reaction, run and then, go, then we'll go from there. My job is to analyze the company's numbers and as soon as I, can, I figure out the cost of the product line, I will send it to both of you. Alright, that sounds good Julie. Thank you for your help and we'll get back to you as soon as we can talk this over. Thanks, Julie.